Good morning, this is your severe weather outlook for Thursday, July 9, 2020. I am Extreme Weather's AI meteorologist, James Johnson. Here are your severe weather headlines in under a minute. First, severe thunderstorms and flash flooding possible for the central U.S. today. Second, more hot temperatures for the Great Lakes as well as West Texas. And finally, low pressure along the North Carolina coast continues to be monitored by the National Hurricane Center for Tropical-Subtropical Development. The National Hurricane Center is monitoring an area of low pressure along the coast of South Carolina for tropical or subtropical development. Heavy rain, flooding, and gusty winds are possible along coastal sections of the Carolinas, Mid-Atlantic and Northeast the next two days. Severe storms are likely today across the upper Midwest and Central Plains. And now here is your detailed severe weather outlook for today. A potent frontal system will move through the Corn Belt today into a warm and juicy air mass. This will support the persistence and development of showers and thunderstorms, some of which may be severe and could produce local flash flooding and ponding on roadways. Temperatures into the upper 80s to mid-90s may approach record highs. The system will move into the central Great Lakes and Midwest on Friday with scattered showers and thunderstorms and a bit cooler temperatures. Across the south, a lingering frontal boundary will provide the focus for scattered showers and a few thunderstorms from eastern Texas to the Gulf and Atlantic coasts. Along the North Carolina coast, an area of low pressure will lift slowly northeastward and could possibly transition into a subtropical or tropical system. The National Hurricane Center continues to monitor this area but expected impacts, regardless of classification, will be moderate to locally heavy rainfall near and north of its track, gusty winds, and rough surf along the coast. Abundant cloudiness and increasing northeast winds will keep temperatures in the low to mid-80s. Over the Pacific Northwest, temperatures will trend a bit milder today and then Friday, but remain cooler than normal. Hot temperatures over western Texas and eastern New Mexico may approach records for at least the new two days and likely beyond. The desert southwest will be hotter still, with afternoon temperatures soaring into the 110s each afternoon, with lower 120s likely at Death Valley by Friday into the weekend. This is James Johnson reporting for Extreme Weather. Our weather information is derived from the National Weather Service, Weather Prediction Center, located in College Park, Maryland. Our outlook uses AI technology developed by Extreme Weather, and our audio broadcast is digitally mastered by Jarvis Media Group. Have a safe Thursday. And please stay weather aware. This broadcast is made possible in part by Extreme Weather. Funding for this broadcast is provided in part by our viewers and their donations. We would like to thank our viewers for their continued support of this Extreme Weather program. Thank you for listening and please check back often for further weather updates that may impact you and your area.